Before we start the video, we'll be discussing themes of an adult nature, so please be advised. <laughs> Earlier this year, Transformers actress Megan Fox admitted to drinking her partner's blood on an Instagram page. Naturally, the internet went ballistic. So a couple of days ago, she came out and said, oh, yo, let me clarify. Yeah, let me clarify. And we were like, okay, so you didn't drink blood, yeah? No, no, I drank blood, but it's just not in goblets. Like we're drinking like drops of our, each other's blood. What? Why? Why are you doing that? I, uh, uh, It's just for ritual purposes, you know, because I follow astrology and you know, other metaphysical practices. Metaphysical practices. I think we all know what that's code word for. And no, it's not reading Surah Ikhlas in your Maghrib Salah. It's not halal fam. <laughs> so if that's not all. I think this was yesterday that uh, this was trending on Twitter. A conservative MP was found in the House of Commons. Yeah. With a female MP next to him watching pornography. Now the House of Commons, you know, the place where possible new laws are made, issues pertaining the country and the vulnerable and the businesses are discussed and debated. Yeah, my man was there looking at some woman's jugs, mate. You're watching, guy. You're, you're somebody that you're must dying. be watching your pornography. Dying. Please allow me, allow me, please. Yeah? Yeah. And that reminds me of the hadith of the Prophet where he said to the nearest effect, if you do not have shyness, then do as you please. The ulama say because that's literally what happens. If you don't have shyness, there's no boundaries, mate. You could be sitting in the House of Commons, mate, with a female next to you with a file of facts and everything, Boris Johnson a couple of meters away, and you're there staring at a pair of jugs. Now, if that does not push us to realize the importance of Islam, then I don't know what will. <laughs> and it's these very people, suited, booted, gentlemen, who have got the nerve to tell us as believers in God that we're irrational and backwards. <laughs> How about you take your hands out your pants for just one minute? How about you put down that biscuit and that can of blood? And then we can tell you how absurd it is to believe that this whole world, this whole solar system, this whole galaxy, this whole universe is a product of chance and spontaneity. And that everything about human beings screams purpose design and dignitary. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, we need institutions like Sapiens who defend Islam against academic attacks. It offers free books. I mean, who does that nowadays? Free books, free courses, free calls if you've got doubts about Islam. And you've got professionals on the other side that will, inshallah, through the permission of Allah, remove those doubts. Because these doubts, I mean, they're just presented by people that, oh yes, um, I'm going to be talking to you about the circumstantial evidence which is provided by the deoxyribonucleic acid. Shut your mouth, mate. But because he's a suited, booted gentleman, mate, you've got to get out this colonial mindset, mate. And when these arguments of theirs are actually confronted face to face, they crumble, mate. They got no substance to them. And that's why, guys, wallah, I broke my heart when I found out that Sapiens Institute is having to let certain staff members go because they haven't made the quota this Ramadan. They haven't. And I don't get it because when our kids have doubts, I get messages, oh, who can we speak to? Oh, uh, Muhammad Tijab, oh, Hamza Sout says, I'll take my child there. I'll sit outside, I'll wait outside. And that's the reason why. If there's any organization that I had to save by taking a begging bowl and go knocking on people's doors, I would do it for sapiens. Why? Because kids, our kids, our future, they want to know about free will. They want to know about nihilism and atheism and materialism and all of these isms and schisms that are confusing them. And the local imam is just not prepared to deal with this sort of stuff. But Sapiens is saying, no problem, call us and we'll help you as well. We'll help your imams. Subhanallah. Honestly, wallah, I don't get it. I don't get why these brothers honestly need to promote themselves. So guys, if there's any organization that deserves your hundreds and thousands, it's this organization. Yeah, and I personally have benefited from the brothers at Sapiens. Guys, this is very, very important. Very, very, I cannot stress this enough. So please 
dig deep. Yeah, go on their website right now and you'll be able to access this material. Subhanallah. Guys, when we have people like this, wallah, we should be putting them on our heads. You know what I'm saying? As soon as they leave the office, we should be putting them on our shoulders, bro. For real, for real. These people, mashallah, they are like our crown jewel defending the ummah against these quote unquote academics that stick their hands in their pants. All right, guys, let's leave it there, inshallah. Link in the description. Link in the pinned comment. Make sure, make sure, make sure you donate and you spread the message. Guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.